Hello everybody. Minu Chandra Mandal presents Happy Republic Day speech on the auspicious occasion of the 72nd Republic Day of India. Wish you all 72nd Happy Republic Day. Salutations and prostrations unto the lotus feet of our great freedom fighters, respected principal of this college, all my worshipful lecturers and my brothers and sisters in spirit. I wish you all Happy Republic Day of Mother India. I am standing before you to express my happiness and a brief idea on this auspicious occasion of 72nd Republic Day, which is a red letter day for all Indians. We know very well that India got freedom on 15th August 1947. Our great freedom fighters like Lal Bal Pal, Mahatma Gandhi, Shivash Chandra Bose, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Bhagat Singh and many others strived hard and also sacrificed their lives to get freedom to India from the clutches of the Britishers. Their collective efforts have made the India is a democratic country today. Let me sir a brief idea how our written constitution came into force on the 26th January 1950. On 29th August 1947, a drafting committee was appointed to draft a permanent constitution under the chairmanship of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Sri B. N. Rao was the constituent advisor. The constitution was drafted by the Constituent Assembly having 299 members. The Constituent Assembly appointed a total of 22 committees to deal with the different tasks of constitution making. This assembly took 2 years, 11 months and 18 days to draft the constitution holding 11 sessions over a 165-day period. A draft constitution was submitted to the Constituent Assembly on 4th November 1947. On 26th November 1949, it adopted the constitution, which was signed by 284 members. The day is celebrated as the National Day or the Constitution Day. After many deliberations and some modifications, the members of the assembly signed two handwritten copies of the document, one each in Hindi and English. On 24th January 1950, with 395 articles, eight schedules and 22 parts. Two days later, which was on January 26, 1950, it came into effect through the whole nation. On that day, Dr. Rajendra Prasad became the first president of the Indian Union. The Constituent Assembly became the Parliament of India. The original constitution each handwritten with each page decorated by the artists from Shantiniketan, including Beohar Ram Manohar Sinha and Nandalal Bose. Its calligrapher was Prem Bihari Narayan Rajada. The estimated cost of the Constituent Assembly was 6.3 crores. On January 26, 1950, India is called the Republic Country. From this 26 January 1950, we have been celebrating the Republic Day of India. I would like to present the preamble to the Constitution of India, which is a brief introductory statement which guides the people of the nation and presents the principles of the Constitution. It reflects the hopes and aspirations of the people of India. The preamble of Constitution is as follows. We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic, republic and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic, political, liberty of thought, liberty of expression, liberty of belief, faith and worship, equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual, unity and integrity of the nation. In our constituent assembly, this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact and give to ourselves this constitution. On 18th December 1976, during the emergency in India, Srimati Indira Gandhi government pushed through several changes in the 42nd amendment of the constitution the word socialist and secular were added between the words sovereign and democratic. 
and the words unity of the nation were changed into unity and integrity of the nation. Our Indian constitution has been amended 104 times so far by the Parliament of India. We celebrate this day with pomp and so. Our President of India hoists our national flags and addresses the nation to honor the country and the constitution of makers. Also, Republic Day is also celebrated throughout the country both in public and private sectors. Republic Day speeches are generally include valuable information on the freedom fighters efforts to make the country to set aspects related to the education and growth, aspects related to the education and growth, women empowerment, economy development, poverty abolishment and various other issues. Let us pay our heartfelt tribute to the father of the Indian constitution, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar and all the other freedom fighters on this happiest occasion. Let us follow their path of dedication, determination and devotion toward the nation and make India the superpower in the world. May the blessings of all freedom fighters be upon us all. Thank you all for listening me.